Hi guys, how's everyone doing today? I hope you're all doing well. I'm here today with a little video about book suggestions. I've been on this reading spree for a few months now and I've read like seven books and they all turned out to be awesome. That was quite lucky. Um, I'm into like psychological thrillers and suspense thrillers and like, detective stories and things like that. So if some of you are as well, I think that's a great little video to watch to get some inspiration if you don't know what to read next. So let's start then from the top. The first book I grabbed two months ago, I, I thought why not just to read a book and then I couldn't stop and I read all seven within a few months. The first book is by J.G. Jurado, who is a Spanish author and it's called The Tipping Point. Dr. Davies, David Evans, a top neurosurgeon at a hospital in Washington, faces the ultimate dilemma if his next patient leaves the operating theater alive, his daughter will die at the hands of a psychopath. He has 55 hours to save her. But Evans' patient is no ordinary man. He is the most important person in the U.S. And what happens on the operating table may well change the course of history. So, yeah. That was awesome. I couldn't put the book down. I read it within a few days. Here we go. There's that one. Right. Next one we got here is by Alex Marwood and it's called The Darkest Secret. Um, it here? When identical twin Coco goes missing during a family celebration, there's a media frenzy. Her parents are rich and influential, as are the friends they were with at their holiday home by the sea. But what really happened to Coco? Over two intense weekends, the first one Coco goes missing and the second 12 years later, at the funeral, funeral of her father, the darkest of secrets will gradually be revealed. It's a tout, emotive, and utterly compelling, and unputdownable, that's a good word, unputdownable, rip from the headlines novel that you will want to talk about with everyone you know. Yeah, so that's the next one. Keep an eye out for this one. It was really good. Right, next what we have here. Next one is by Hilary Bonner and it's called The Cruelest Game. Marian Anderson lives the perfect life. She has a beautiful home, a handsome and loving husband and an intelligent and caring son. But as early as perfect as easily as perfect lives are built, they can also be demolished. When tragedy strikes at the heart of her family, Marian finds herself in the middle of a nightmare with no sign of waking up. The life she treasured is disintegrating before her very eyes, but it's just the beginning of something much worse and altogether more deadly. The lie was just beginning, guys. So there's that one. Next we have here is a book by um, C. L. Taylor, and it's called The Escape. When a stranger asks Joe Blackmore for a lift, she says yes, then quickly wishes she hadn't. The stranger knows Joe's name, she knows her husband Max, uh, and she's got a glove belonging to Joe's two-year-old daughter Alice. What begins with a subtle threat swiftly turns into a nightmare at the uh, as the police, social services, and even Joe's own husband turn against her. No one believes that Alice is in danger, but Joe knows there's only one way to keep her sa child safe. Run. Yeah, the smash hit bestseller returns with a nail shredding roller coaster ride you won't be able to put down. Yeah, and I wasn't able to put down this one. So that's another one, guys. Keep an eye out for. Right next we have here is the book by C. L. Taylor again, actually. Yeah, I got the second one with the same author, author, because I enjoyed it so much, and it's called The Lie. Jane Hodges has a loving partner, a job in an animal sanctuary and a tiny cottage in rural Wales. She's happier than she's ever been, but her life is a lie. Jane Hodges does not really exist. Five years earlier, Jane and her uh, then best friends went on a holiday, but what should have been the trip of a lifetime rapidly descended into a nightmare that claimed the lives of two of the women. Jane has tried to put the past behind her, but someone knows the truth about what happened. Someone who won't stop until they've destroyed Jane and everything she loves. There we go. Claustrophobic tense, a thrill ride. The Lie by C.L. Taylor. Sorry. 
There we go. And what do we have next? Next is a book by Rene Knight called The Disclaimer. This also, I was, just, I was just attracted by the cover. Imagine if the next thriller you opened was all about you. It's just a tiny little sentence. It just grabs your attention and you just want to read it. You just cannot leave it behind. <laughs> So, when an intriguing novel appears on the Catherine bedside table, she curls up and begins to read. But as she turns the pages, she is horrified to realize she is the key character, a main player. This story will reveal her darkest secret, a secret she thought no one else knew. Outstanding, clever and twisty, exactly what a great psychological thriller should be, and a really clever twist. Yeah. There we go. So that's the last one. Uh, no, sorry, not the last one. The one next to the last. Disclaimer by Renee Knight. <coughs> and then the last but not least is a book by Claire McIntosh and it's called I See You. The cover also got my attention and I just couldn't leave it behind. And when Zoe Walker sees her photo in the classified section of a London newspaper, she is determined to find out why it's there. There's no explanation, just a grainy image, a website address and a phone number. She takes it home to her family, who are convinced it's just someone who looks like Zoe. But the next day the advert shows a photo of a different woman and another the day after that. Is it a mistake, a coincidence or is someone keeping track of every move they make? A grass-inducing ending, a creepy as they come, wonderfully sinister. There we go, that's the last book. Cool. So, that's it for my suggestions today, guys. I'm sure I will come back <laughs> in a few months with another seven or eight books. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye!